what a wild card weekend that was, huh? Can you believe it? I mean, I go wild card weekend, maybe because it has it still has that New Year feel, that first weekend of the year, of the calendar year, in the first games of the NFL playoffs. And this wild card weekend was no exception. It all started in Kansas City. Ugh, poor, poor Casey, poor Casey. What can I say about the Chiefs except how could they choke so colossally? How could they find new ways to blow it? They they were up twenty one to three at half, and they stopped scoring. Why? Because Andy Reid got conservative. He decided to play the clock when there was a whole half to go. And because of that, the Titans scored nineteen unanswered points. That game had everything. It had Marcus Barry Older throwing his first career touchdown, first career playoff touchdown pass to himself. It had a fumble return. For a touchdown that ended up wasn't ended up uh, being nullified, and, it, and the best part, it had Sean McDonough turning into Peter Brady on that call and was going through puberty. But um, it was so crazy. It was so crazy. It was an amazing game. But the Chiefs, ah, uh, I don't know what to say except they become the NFL's equivalent of the Washington Capitals. No matter how good of a regular season they have. Come playoff time, they disappear and find new ways to blow it. <clears throat> they have lost six straight playoff games at home. How is that even possible? You know, and speaking of choke artists, the Falcons somehow managed to beat the Rams. Of course, the Rams didn't help by not showing up. First playoff game in L.A. in over 20 years, and the Rams just felt flat. It was an awful, awful game. But regardless, Atlanta moves on to Philadelphia. A bit more on that later. Uh, the Sunday half, the Bills played their first playoff game in almost 18 years, and they didn't do anything either. Jacksonville's defense was too much for them. They only, ate, they only gave up a field goal, and that field goal was scored first with 10 unanswered points falling. And it saw Nathan Peterman get a bit of a chance of redemption because Tyron Taylor got hurt uh, after two minute warning. It was up to Peterman to kind of lead him to a game tie score. It looked like he was going to do it, but he ended up throwing an interception. Now his line hasn't really sucked. He's played parts of three quarters this whole season, but has thrown six interceptions. You know, that's terrible. Even Jay Cutler's line isn't that bad. And the main event, of course, was Panthers and Saints. Poor Cam got cheated by refs again. First off, they called they called an intentional ground about him, you know, A, he was out of pocket, and B, he was um he was an eligible receiver. And, and, and after that, the Saints committed pass interference, but it wasn't called. But, and of course, it resulted in the Saints beating the Panthers for the third time this season. And the Saints move out of Minnesota. I'll say this. If they can beat the Panthers, they should they should and better beat Minnesota. You know, Minnesota's terrible. They shouldn't be. Even with Rodgers out for the Packers, that division should have went to Detroit. They have everything. They messed it up as usual. So... So that's so. Wildcard weekend is in the books. You see, but uh, Wildcard weekend is in the books. The road teams won on Saturday. The home teams won on Sunday. And uh, now the matchups are set. The week eight is set. Uh, Atlanta goes to Philly, and for some reason, Atlanta is the favorite. I don't know why. It's like this proves how biased the media is. Atlanta blows the biggest game of the year, and people still say they're a strong team. They're one of the best teams in the NFC. If the Packers, if the Packers, the Giants, if the, Jack, if the Packers and Giants fucked up in the same fashion that Atlanta did, they'd be dissed. So would the Steelers. It's a different conference, but so would the Steelers. If those three teams choked in the same fashion that the, 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 the Falcons did, you know what the media would say? Well, this team's not good. They don't have it. See, that's how biased the media is. And I myself, I myself am a borderline advocate against favoritism. And one side of this, you have to be equal, okay? The Falcons are not good. Anytime you go out there in the biggest game of the year and blow it in the fashion they did, they're not good. They're just not good. They need to be fair and say it. But um, but um, uh, uh, but uh, uh, the Falcons, they're favorite, and all because Wentz is out. But even with Wentz out, Philadelphia should beat the dog shit out of them. That's exactly what's going to happen. Like I said, the All Pennsylvania Super Bowl is going to happen, uh, whether whether Goodell likes it or not, because he hates the Steelers. He loves New England. Hell, he helped them win their last Super Bowl. 
I think he did. He did. Now, um, uh, Sweden and New England, uh, they'll host the Titans. A lot of good hearted people are hoping for an upset, but I'm not going to my friend. Uh, it'll be something that Mary Owner Company actually did go to Foxborough and beat him after all Sanchez did it in the playoffs, and people think of him as the worst quarterback in the league, and don't even mention, and don't even mention his winning Foxborough because, again, they love the pay, the media loves the papers too much. But, um, be something that Mariota actually walks into Foxborough and beat him. It could happen, but I don't know. The chances are very infinitesimal. And uh, that's Saturday. Sunday, the, the Steelers, the Steelers, the true number one team in the AFC. Uh, of course, the referees robbed them because they don't, because they don't want the Steelers. Uh, Steelers host the Jaguars. There's no Big Ben, them old Jacksonville would ask for Remember, it was at home against the Jaguars this season that Ben had one of his worst games of his career. He threw five interceptions. He threw five interceptions, which is usually a season for him. And I think two of them will be turned all the way. But, uh, uh, but, uh, it, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a crazy game. And, uh, I think Pittsburgh's gonna get him this time. Big Ben doesn't. Big Ben doesn't have bad games often. If he has one, he gets it out of the system. But doesn't have another one for another like two or three years. <laughs> and um, and of course, uh, the, the divisional playoff weekend will end in Minnesota, which is the site of Super Bowl Fifty Two. Minnesota, the Vikings, and the Saints. And how about this? This was the game. This was this was the exact matchup. In 2009's NFC, in the 2009 NFC Championship game, this was the game that forced overtime to change. You all remember this? Uh, the Vikings and the uh, Saints went to overtime. The Saints won the toss, got the field goal range, got the field goal range, kicked the field goal, won the game, went on to the Super Bowl, which they won. Minnesota never saw the ball. That game, that game played in January 2010, led to overtime being changed. By a 28 to 4 vote, ironically, the Vikings were one of the four teams that voted against the change, even though they were on the bad, the bad end of that overtime when they never saw the ball. And uh, so, this will be the first time they've hooked up since that game. Will it go to overtime? It'll be something that it did. It'll be something that both teams get the ball. So, I really hope that that Minnesota gets ousted. If, if, the, Saints can, if the Saints can beat the Panthers, albeit the refs cheated Cam again. That they can beat the no talent Vikings. They should. So those are my picks for the visual playoff weekend. Eagles, uh, Patriots, unfortunately, I don't think Tennessee's gonna do it. Um, uh, Pittsburgh and the Saints. That, that's gonna be your final four. And that'll do it for this recap of Wild Card Weekend. I will recap the visual playoff. Uh, I'll do it sooner than this. I'm, I'm sorry I'm late with this. I was <laughs> Really following hockey. I can't wait for the All Star break. I'll recap the first half after the All Star game ends. So, so with that, the visual playoff starts tomorrow. Enjoy those games, the roads to Super Bowl 52. And until next week.